survival skills learning about survival skills the orissa super cyclone of 1999 offers several lessons in disaster management when the cyclone struck western orissa was already in the grip of a drought it hit the landfall point near paradeep coast on october 29 with a wind velocity of 270 to 300 km per hour that cyclone and the one that proceeded in on october 17 18 together affected over 19 million people including 3.5 million children they affected 128 blocks in 14 districts search and rescue measures were carried out on a massive scale to cater to the requirement of huge human resource volunteers were robed and formed various walks of life ncc and civil defense played a vital role in burning carcasses distribution of relief and carrying out search and rescue operations Looking at the need for large-scale volunteers in an emergency situation, this chapter aims at understanding the survival skills for various natural and man-made hazards. It also discusses various search and rescue skills and first aid measures that can be carried out by you and me, which would save many precious lives. search and rescue skills whenever and wherever disaster strike the first responder for search and rescue always begins at the local levels individual and neighborhood it is a daunting task for the locals to rescue the victims due to lack of skilled human resources disaster or emergencies disrupts normal life we cannot stop hazards from happening but preparedness can make all the difference between life and death people habitating in highly vulnerable pockets cope up with frequent disaster on the basis of their acumen accumulated knowledge accumulated skills and resources of the community and they have managed to survive the fury of the nature through centuries In a post disaster scenario search and rescue has always played a major role in disaster management it is on the strength capability and effectiveness of the search and rescue team that more of human lives could be saved defining search and rescue search and rescue is a technical activity rendered by an individual or a group of specially trained personnel who rescue and attend to the casualties under adverse conditions where life is at threat search and rescue is organized in close cooperation with the community and in a team approach the search and rescue activities are undertaken in two manners community as local rescuers with adequate safety measures rescue activities are taken up immediately by the community after any disaster outside community resources circumstances where the situation is grave and the local rescuers do not have required skills and equipments then specialist assistance from outside the community is required The main objectives of a search and rescue team are to rescue the survivors trapped under the debris from the damaged buildings or from a cyclonic storm surge provide first aid services to the trapped survivors and to dispatch them to medical care take immediate necessary actions as for temporary support and protection to endangered collapsed buildings to structures hand over recover and dispose of the bodies of the deceased train 
demonstrate and raise awareness on how to use the local materials for rescuing the community people. Team composition Honest, emotionally sound, professionally decisive, volunteers male and female, having good physical condition with demonstrated capacity and willingness to work in an emergency, could constitute a rescue team. Volunteers of both sex above the age of 18 years with a minimum education level, reading and writing the local language can be a part of the search and rescue team. Preference would be given to ex-military or army personals. What are the duties of a rescuer? The first job of a rescuer is to assess the area so as to save time which would help in effective response. It is very important for a rescuer to collect information on the extent of damage, approach to the damaged area, particulars of the damage and understand if any further damage is likely to occur. The local leaders or the people residing in that particular locality provide all this information. Follow three key principles during the survey. Look. See physically the incidents and make a thorough visual inspection. Listen. Listen to all the sources of information from the community, government records and media reports. Feel. Feel convinced regarding the fact, the gravity of the danger and our own capacity to respond. That is all in this lesson. It was very interesting to learn about the precautions and measures that has to be taken at the time of different calamities and situations. Always be ready with your first aid kit.